Hi there, my kids and Leos. Welcome into the Sunny Virgo. So today we have a little love reading. It's going to be quick. It's just a check in to see what is going on in your love life. If you have someone in mind, please keep that person in mind while we're talking about that stuff. But um, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Just take whatever fills your guts and leave what doesn't. And if you really feel like this is not your reading, then I definitely recommend you to check out your individual signs. I just did love readings over there, so definitely go check out the Sunny Virgo Tarot over there. I don't really know, but it's going to be on the letter cards. Um, definitely go take a look. Okay, so let's see here. What do we have for your um, love situation? So, all right, we have over here... I feel like you're going between places uh, and what I mean with that we have third party we have confusion we have healing so this kind of looks like it's you know there's a third party so there are two people and then you're confused between those two people and one of them is someone that you're healing from the other one could be a dream come true okay not to say that you know this person you're healing from is not a dream come true but I do feel like you have um, options here and I feel like your guides are saying that maybe it is good that you explore those options and see where it goes okay because I definitely feel like yeah I definitely feel like there is this energy here I'll we'll take one more um we have over here for this okay um for this past person we definitely have abandonment so walking away cold moving on definitely someone that you're removing yourself from we also have healing uh, or heartbeat, sadness, ending pain, another reiteration, this is someone you're moving on from, and we have fun times, part of vacation, quality time, so this could have been someone that, it doesn't mean that it was short term, but it could have been very, maybe it was very fast, very, a lot of movement, and very good, but then it ended just as quickly, you know, or I don't know, it's, it's just like when it crumbled down, it crumbled down seriously, right, and then I feel like you have this other person, which uh, we have here, intimacy, honeymoon, desire. So there is definitely a lot of attraction here between the two. And more than anything, we have intimacy here with confidence, trust. So it's like you are able to confide in each other. You are able to trust each other. And I feel like it is very intimate, not in necessarily in a sexual way. It, there is definitely a lot of desire, but I feel like you could, it's like you really see each other. And if it, it's, it feels like a slow burn right? It feels really good because I feel like it's just blossoming and growing one step at a time. Or if you haven't connected with this person yet, maybe you have through your dreams, but just know that this person is out there. So maybe right now you're questioning, should I stay? Should I go? What should I do here? And I feel like your guides are saying that you have options, so don't be afraid, yeah, to have that self-strength and to move on, okay? So let's take a look here with the tarot, see where we go. What is the overall energy here? Four of Wands, we have the moon. Yeah, it's like um, you have a relationship hidden from you. Because, again, you may still be healing and moving on from someone from the past. But I feel like this relationship coming forward, I do feel like it could be really, really, really good. Okay? The thing is, you kind of have to decide and determine what is best for you so that you can move on and that you can connect with this person and really bring them forward, okay? Could be a Taurus, Libra. Cancer Pisces, it doesn't have to be. Um, maybe the old lover could be a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Just take that has extra confirmation. But I don't know. I feel like you're really attracting like the relationship of your dreams. All right, Cancer. Um, Cancer Leo. But um, I really feel like it requires more from you. You know, it requires for you to put an end to this, whatever, whatever that is. Okay. So let's take a look here. Um, we'll go with the flow and see what shows up. Well, let's start with your side over here. Um, we have the tower in your current energy. We have the five of swords in your feelings. And we have judgment in your intentions and next actions. Let's see here whoever wants to come out next. Okay, 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 we like this. We like this. So I definitely feel like this five of cups, uh, there are a couple of things. I feel like this new person could be um, moving on from someone as well, but I feel like this is definitely, you know, a message from your guides. You have three spilled cups here, right? The, the relationship that didn't work, but right behind it, you have these two cups, okay? You have this beautiful relationship really waiting for you with a lot, a lot of good potential, okay? But let's get into fun stuff. 
because I feel like you already know this person. So um, I definitely feel like in your current situation here, I feel like you're definitely feeling hurt. Maybe you're not even having love in your mind, um, but I really feel like, and actually, wasn't that, because like this is, no, I don't know, because <laughs> it was really sounding similar to something. Um, oh, it was Aries. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries or you could have some Aries in your chart because that reading was coming through and um, it had a little bit of a similar vibe, I would say. But uh, let's get back here into you. Uh, I definitely feel like, you know, in your current energy tower, I really feel like you're going through a little bit of a tower moment, but that is not always bad because I feel like, especially with judgment here, is like you're definitely being pushed into elevating um, towards a different vibration, towards a different place of yourself and this different place of your spiritual journey. And I really feel like your guides are pushing you into this empress and you being the best version of yourself and just taking care of yourself as well and understanding what is good for you and what is not and moving away from that, okay? Um, with your feelings here in the Five of Swords, I really feel like you're just like wanting to survive. There's a little bit of that. Wanting to just get past the situation. And again, I don't necessarily feel like you have love on mind on your mind, but if you do, I feel like it is a very, not necessarily hurtful perspective, but a very like, I'm not sure if I can trust love. I'm not sure if it is safe for me to trust love. And the thing with this is that it's never about trusting the other person at some point it is, but especially in the beginning, especially as you're trying to move on from someone, it's never about the other person, the new person that you're trying to trust. It's about trusting yourself to know how to see red flags, to know how to move on from situations, to understand what is good for you and what is not, and pushing away from situations that are not good for you. It's about trusting yourself that you will have the power to get away from that situation if it is, if it proves to not be right for you. And the thing is, you have just overcome a really tough, possibly uh, past life cycle or something. I feel like it is something really big spiritually. And I, re I feel like you're ready for something new. I feel like you're really stepping into a new place of your spiritual journey. So now you're able to, you have already learned the red flags from that previous relationship. You have already learned when and when not to trust people. What are the things that show you that mm, there's something sketchy going on? You've already learned all of those things. So now you're going to do a much better job at finding those red flags in new people, okay? So again, it's never about trusting another person. It's always about trusting yourself and also about trusting your guides in the universe and understanding, okay, why did they bring this person forward for me? Maybe that is something that you should ask yourself. What was this pur the purpose of this relationship in my life? What did I learn? What can I get away from this, okay? Because that is going to give you a little look into you know, there were some bad things, but there also were some pretty good things. And in the end, I was able to take this from this relationship. So I know that my guides have my back and that once I've learned the things, they just took that person away from me because they, they've served their purpose, okay? Now let's talk about the, um, the new person because I definitely feel like you already know them. You may not be totally aware of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is someone from work this is someone that you know from like a coffee shop that you go very often, from school that also applies, maybe from a library or something. Um, it could also be, I'm also hearing like, um, not necessarily a workshop, but like um, some small course. It could also be from somewhere like that. I'm hearing teacher, they could also be a teacher. So maybe this is like, if you have children, this could be like your children's teacher, something like that. Um, but I definitely feel like there is someone here that is very, very, very interested in you. Their intentions is definitely this two of cups. It's definitely to have a relationship with you, to bring you with, you know, good vibes. And I feel like more than anything, their intention right now is to ask you on a date. So I would say that would be the next action here from their side. Um, and maybe, you know, in your next actions here with the judgment, it could be that you're kind of waking up to wait, is this, is this a gift from the universe? Maybe it is, maybe I should have a look. And I think that maybe you should have a look, <laughs> you know, cause like this person showing up has these ones. They're in such a vibrant, beautiful energy. I really feel like they're amazing, okay? I really feel like they are, they, they could bring you a lot of stability and a lot of joy and a lot of good moments. 
and I really feel like it, it could be nice, okay? Not, it, and it feels like it's, well, yeah, it's nice. But no, it's like, it's, God, it's peaceful, and it's, ah, I can breathe, you know? There's a little bit of this feeling. Isn't someone really, really good for you? And, like, I don't, I don't think that they have, like, feelings for you. Their feelings is three of pentacles, because I feel like they are curious about you, and they really want to get to know you better. Um, and, and that is their main goal right now, okay? So, yeah. Let's see here. What would this person like to say? And then we'll pull some advice for you. Um, so we have, I'm so in love with you, and I like it. This, I don't think that this deck is the best for this particular situation, but, um, I definitely feel like there is this feeling of, like, they're really, uh, especially when it comes to, to intentions, you know? It's like, I want to have a baby with you, I want to marry you. It's like, if you already talked to this person, then that would be possible, but I feel like it's coming more from a place of, like, this is what I desire in a relationship. This is what I want, you know? I want a committed long-term relationship, I want to build a family, um, especially if this is your child or children's teacher, um, I definitely feel like this person absolutely adores your children, um, and so it's like, I, like, I totally don't mind that, and I, I would, like, I would be honored to be part of that family, um, but yeah, we also have, I want you close to me, I also feel like there's a lot of physical attraction here, but it's good, um, and we actually have that, right? Uh, we also have, I can't do this, but I'll try. So it's that thing. This person could also be releasing someone, but I feel like they're just in this place of, I don't want to jump into a commitment straight away. I don't want to have babies and family straight away, but I want to give this a shot and I want to see where things go, right? So open up to curiosity. Open up to this person, okay? So what is your advice here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have... We have released your ex, okay? So this is the biggest thing. Please let go of this other person, okay? It's always up to you because it's always your life, but I really feel like your guys are pushing you out of that past relationship and into this new one. So flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, to this person. And why? Why is that? Why is that? Because this could be the one. You know, easy, easy peanuts, just small potatoes. But this could be the one, so... Just say it, okay? <laughs> but uh, this is what I have for you, my kids, Leos. This is looking pretty damn good. You have this beautiful love blossoming, um, and I feel like you deserve it, okay? Because even bottom of the deck, we have you deserve love. You deserve this love. You deserve this new beginning, all right? So yeah, this is what I have for you. I really hope this helped and resonated. Don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. Um, and also, if you want to check out my pick cards, that would be on the Bird's Nest Tarot. Um, you can also find it in the little cards over there. But if you want to dive deeper into this, you can check out my pro readings. The link is going to be down below. And that is it. So I love you very much. I wish you the best. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.